It's Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. Your boy Reese right here in the city with you, and I have a very special guest in the building who will be a friend of the show. I'm going to make sure of that before she leave. We got celebrity chef Danny in the building. What's going on, mama? I am good. Can't complain. Can't complain. You got a million-dollar smile. I love it. I love it, man. Now, it, tis the season. Now, what, when they say celebrity chef, a lot of people throw that throw that around. You know what I'm saying? But you really do this, though. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about how did you get started in the culinary industry? Okay, so it's honestly something that I'm very passionate about. It's not just something that, like, I woke up one day and I said, I make great mac and cheese and I'm going to serve it to, like. See, now you, now you, you know, done started it. You, know, you got saying, me hungry I, now. You know, <laughs> and I'm just going to serve it to the next artist and call myself a celebrity chef. You know, uh-huh. It's actually something that I bonded with my mom since I was four. Awesome. She's a yeah. nurse. She worked long hours. And, you know, we connected in the kitchen at a young age. So for her to spend that time with me I really appreciated it so she transferred off that love to me and I love giving that to other people I got you I got you they say that when you put a little love in the cooking you know so it tastes better (laughs) so I can see that coming off you got real good energy and I know that ends up in the pots and pans yeah (laughs) all right so who was like your first big celebrity client that you uh you made a dish for that you was like oh my god I'm cooking for this person honestly it was Pharrell Williams Pharrell yeah did he have a hat on um, th- no, he actually didn't have a hat on that day. <laughs> okay. He didn't have a hat on that day Um, for our initial meeting. The second time, he did have on a hat. Okay, but, okay. You know, uh, the way, the way like, he even came to me for the meeting, I didn't know I was meeting him that day. Oh, really? It was it was a real tough time in my life, actually. Hmm. Um, so I had my car stolen, like, the week before. Really? I had 63 cents in my account. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> so, I've been there before, too. Yeah, you know, I, I understand, so, like, yeah. It was tough. And um, so I had this person saying, like, you know, I have a meeting for you if you can make it to South Beach at this time. Uh-huh. And I had to borrow a car to get there, and I made it happen. And next thing you know, I'm sitting down, and Pharrell sits next to me. I'm like, oh, shoot, I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, wow. So somebody said, hey, I got a meeting for you. No idea who you're meeting with. No, absolutely not. When you get to that meeting, you see Pharrell float in. Yes. <laughs> and you talking to Pharrell about possibly cooking for him? No, I was just telling him that I was a fan of his. And mm-hmm. he was like, oh, really? And I'm like, yeah, so I'm on some, like, you know, yeah. big shit. Like, right. Like, I love N.E.R.D. And he was like, oh, yeah, what's your favorite song? I told him my favorite song and stuff. And then um, the person coordinating the meeting was like, this is the person you're supposed to be meeting with. And I'm like, wow. Oh, wow. That's crazy. And then he introduced you as a chef. Yes. And so what was it? Was it for an event or was it just for some personal cooking? He was working with Cream Liqueur. So okay. that was his brand at the time with Diageo. So uh-huh. basically I was consulting on a dessert line for him because he was going to have a bar out in South Beach. So I worked okay. on a consulting gig with him. Oh, nice. Did you actually uh, do anything in the in the kitchen with that with that line? Yes, you did? I actually did. Okay. Um, but, you know, for contractual reasons, right. you know. Couldn't, yeah. Just, yeah. Gotcha. The way it is. Gotcha. Um, and also, like, when he's in the studio and stuff, you know, we did some cooking. Um, yeah. But mainly, my main project was to make sure that his bar right. and cream liqueur was legit. So now you got to listen to Pharrell every time you cook. Uh, no, nah. I mean, I always <laughs> listen to Pharrell anyway. So it was, gotcha. there's no difference. Like, I love him. I got you. And then that's how the ball got rolling into the celebrity chef moniker? Yes. Okay. Did he put you on anybody else, or does it just kind of go from there? Like, people in the studio was like, oh, man, who made this? And then they well, booked you? it kind of floated from there. But honestly, in high school, I was actually a writer. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I met people in high school from, like, when Trey Songs just came out, when yeah. Chris Brown's just came out, like, I actually used to book artists to come to my school to perform as well. Oh, so, wow. Okay. So it was like I've always been around the music industry. Uh-huh. It was just very natural for me to transition into working with artists. Right. Like so instead of writing songs, now you whipping on recipes. Yeah. Well, I do both now. Okay. 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 <laughs> we got to talk about that too. Right now, we with celebrity chef Danny. She talked about her intro into like, you know, her first big client that had you fanning out. And then as the ball gets rolling, like, what is the, what was the, what does, what does Pharrell eat? I feel like he's like, like, uh, something crazy. Well, it's mainly like farm to table stuff, mm. um, organic. Like, he doesn't want any like bad things going to his body. He right. Wants to please God. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's just, all natural, healthy. Okay. That's pretty much correct. Okay. I, I, I feel like a lot of, and I see a lot of uh, celebrities getting away from eating meat and vegan. So have you, are you like a culinary special in like making vegetable dishes and stuff like that? <laughs> well, I'm actually good at making almost everything. Uh, um, but I even for see. myself, yeah. 
even for myself, like I only consume meat like two times a week. Mm. Yes. Why is it? Uh, well, it's just it keeps me balanced. Mm -hmm. You know, when I actually eat it too much, that's when I feel too heavy. Yeah. And I know the change in my body as well. Right. I am naturally curvy, so the more that, and I don't like working out. So. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey, man, you get, you figure out a way to yeah, control so, it, so yeah, I get so it. My balance is, you know, I eat mainly uh, fish products mm -hmm. and stuff, and then I will eat meat like maybe twice a week, but yeah. I'm not a big meat. I do the same thing, like, and I wanted to ask you because I know a lot of people feel the same way. Like, I feel a little sluggish if I eat too many, like, you know, many like meat products and stuff like that. So and I don't do dairy. I got you. I got. I can't get away from cheese or whipped cream, but you know, one day, ah. one day, God ain't done with me yet. We got celebrity chef Danny the building. Your boy Reese right here. We are gonna talk about a few more things and a few. Y'all keep it locked, man. It's hot one hundred seven nine.